Okay. All right. Um, hey everyone. Uh, my name is Dylan. Um, I'm a senior studying computer science at the University of Miami, and today I will be um, continuing on logistic regression. Um, so, uh, in our last presentation, Agilon, uh talked about logistic regression. Um, so, the main takeaway from that is that um, uh, the hypothesis for logistic regression is, is different from linear regression in that we use the logistic or the sigmoid function. Um, but other than that, uh, utilizing having a cost function and utilizing different optimization methods such as the gradient descent um, work the same way. So today um, I'll talk about uh, multi-class classification. Um, so we discussed that logistic regression uh, was better than linear regression because um, we can use it for binary classification to decide whether we should classify zero or one, whether we may have a tumor or not have a tumor. But what if we want to classify uh, for multiple variables? So say we want to classify what the weather is. So whether it's cloudy, sunny, or rainy. So three different variables. Um, in order to do this, we utilize what's called the one versus all algorithm, or it's also known as the one versus rest algorithm. Um, so with this, we can take uh, one class, say the triangles maybe represent a classification of being sunny, um, and turn that into that versus the rest of them, that versus all of them. Um, and then we do that for each class. Um, so we repeatedly choose one class and merge all of the others into a separate class um, and essentially just apply binary logistic regression multiple times. Um, so uh, the code for this would just be um, repeatedly going through zero through n amount of classes um, and taking the, your prediction, your classification would be the maximum um, value that's hypothesized. Um, so another area I'll talk about is overfitting. Um, so this is, Overfitting is having, so having more variables in a data set is not always a good thing because you can overfit a model. Um, so in this first square, this is an example of underfitting um, because we just get a line through this and these dots, we clearly see it should be a, a rounded off model. Um, so this middle model is what we want um, and then on the right is an example of overfitting. It's, it's uh, because of the training set, it's um, completely going along all the uh, points. Um, so um, in order to address the issue of overfitting, we can either reduce the number of features, but sometimes then we'd end up underfitting. So then we can implement um, what's called regular regularization. Um, so with regularization, uh, we can uh, keep all of our features, but we just reduce the values of the parameters. Um, so it's it's very simple to implement this. We will just introduce a new uh, parameter called the regularization parameter which is the lambda symbol. Um, and we'd introduce this in our cost function. So um, 
everything stays the same, but we just add right tacked onto the end um, the addition of lambda um, of the summation of all our um, data values. Um, so, uh, an example of regularization. Um, Say um, in this model, um, this is our training set, um, and this is an overfit training set. Uh, say we we're classifying um, uh, a cancerous region or a cancerous model. So these could be outliers. So in our training set, this is perfect. But for um, trying to classify new examples, these may be outliers, so we would have wanted a more generalized cutoff, which would be this pink line. Um, and this comes from implementing uh, regularization. Um, so if we wanted to implement this, uh, it's our code for gradient descent would look um, exactly the same. Um, except we add on our regularization parameter um, on when we're updating theta j. But um, for regularization, uh, we want to skip uh, the regularization with the first parameter, which is um, our intercept term. Um, you don't, you could regularize all parameters, but it's uh, general, it's generally recommended to skip the intercept term so you don't have any issues um, later on. Um, and so, yeah, so we talked about the two different things, um, the one versus all algorithm, uh, which is used for multi-classification, um, and then regularization which will allow us to avoid overfitting um, for models. Um, and that's all I have. Does anyone have any questions? Yeah, I was wondering, uh, Dylan, all that is in uh, Python still, just like Agilon, or what? All that is what? Are you using Python to model all this stuff? Or MATLAB? Uh, I was using MATLAB. Yeah. So yeah, you guys may want to look into uh, TensorFlow. TensorFlow from Google. It's a, a complete library that um, may have already um, all these functions available. So it's open source. Uh, so you can take something that's sort of a base and tweak it based on your your specific uh, categorization classification algorithm. So TensorFlow, check that out. Okay, I'll look into that. Um, I guess I can 